Oh, it's cruel, it's vile, and it's absolutely hysterical. So this was a movie that a lot of people have been wanting for a very long time. So long, in fact, that I can't even imagine how long some people have been wanting this, especially after what happened with X-Men Wolverine Origins. I didn't know who Deadpool was, so to see Ryan Reynolds with the whole face mask thing and the blades in the hands, is like, that seems a little weird. And apparently that film absolutely infuriated the fans. So they get a chance at it again. And good on you, 20th Century Fox, for not screwing up this movie like you did with Fantastic Four. The one thing I definitely want to say before going into this movie is I'm not the biggest fan of Deadpool. Not saying that I don't like him, it's just I never really got into him. I thought he was funny, I liked his little gifts, but I couldn't imagine reading a comic book series about him. I was just People talked about him so much, and they built him up so much, I was like, ah, I just didn't want to get into it. Just like Gambit, too. Everyone always talked about Gambit in high school. So watching this film, I basically watched it with the idea of not having any idea because I didn't have any idea of anything. I didn't know how, he's, how his origins come about. I don't know how anything happened. So... To see this film was fun. The film is relentlessly funny. The humor never stops. The intro credits were fantastic. The humor starts off right off the bat with text. That's how fast it starts. When you see some douchebags film and <laughs> produced by some asshats from Hollywood. It was so funny just to read these credits. And there are so many jokes to talk about in this film that I can't even specify one in particular because there's just so many juggling in my mind right now. The character of Wade Wilson is also very good. At first I thought we were literally just gonna get Ryan Reynolds being an asshat in this film, and he is for the point. He just never shuts up. But we do see a multifaceted side with him with his girlfriend. And while it's not exactly as deep as you would want or would Rome really think with a film like this, what Deadpool is doing is basically following the superhero route, but it's trying it's damnedest to try and be different and I applaud it for trying it's still there that formula is still there but they do try to be different especially with the narrative because we start in the middle and we keep going back to these flashbacks which we can see then by the end of the flashbacks that the middle section is literally just a set piece for for setting up these flashbacks so that was a little bit of a thing that I noticed that it's like well you know Good on you for trying, though. But that's not really the thing that this film is trying to do. While it is setting up a superhero, and it is setting up a franchise inadvertently, as it actually comments on several times in the film, it's the fourth wall. I've never seen a fourth wall be broken so hard in a film, and so repeatedly, to the point where we get used to it. I felt a different sort of feeling with this film, a different sort of experience, a much more personal one and a much more relatable one because of what he's saying. A lot of what Deadpool is saying and thinking is exactly what you're thinking while you're watching this movie, so to have these thoughts put into your mind is hilarious. And as I said, some of the jokes. There was one thing though, best Stan Lee cameo ever. Absolute ever, I'm, I'm saying that. I don't think it'll ever be beaten by this one, in my opinion anyways. However, with a generic formula for a superhero film comes the generic villain. Now this is the guy who has definitely been getting a lot of meh comments, and he deserves them. He is very one-dimensional, he has no real reason for the story except for a goal for Wade to go after. In the final climax between Deadpool and evil British dude and Gina Guerrero and Colossus, I didn't care about either fight really. I did not. I had absolutely no care in who would win because I knew who was going to win. I'll definitely say that was a little bit of a turnoff. However, how the whole thing concludes was very funny. And for every time they do something that has been seen in other superhero movies, they make sure to make a joke about it in every time it's funny. I definitely give props to the writing team because the writing team was absolutely hilarious. Ryan Reynolds for giving a great performance and also some pretty awesome action sequences with some really good fight scenes and for a limited budget the CGI wasn't too bad, Colossus wasn't that great, but just the jokes. The jokes about the X-Men too. My god they were fantastic. Also the end credit scene was great too. 
and I bet it was made more so for people who work at movie theaters than for people who go to the theaters themselves. So in the end, my rating for Deadpool is a 6 out of 7. It is exceedingly funny, it is exceedingly refreshing for the superhero genre. However, because of how many stereotypes it falls back on and how many times while trying to change up the formula, it really doesn't do anything. But at least to say, I was definitely impressed with this film and I really enjoyed it. So, hope you guys go out and see it. And what's possibly the most humorous part of this entire Deadpool experience is that for you Americans, it's rated R. For us Canadians, it's rated 14A. I'm trying to figure that out too, because there was boobies in this movie. And that usually gets an 18A rating. Anyway guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you next time.